It's the second week of September 2014, and this week marks the 15th anniversary of the Sega Dreamcast's United States launch. For many of you that know me, you know that I love me some Dreamcast. Not only do I think it's still an excellent system today, but I also have a lot of personal nostalgic attachment to the console as well. The Dreamcast was one of the first systems I bought with my own money, it was the first video game item I ever pre-ordered, and was the first video game item I ever picked up at a midnight launch. Needless to say, the Dreamcast was the first of a lot of things for me. Another first are the many memories I have of simply being impressed with the system. From when I first experienced Sonic Adventure via the pre-release Dreamcast kiosks, to when I unboxed the system and loaded up House of the Dead 2 for the first time, to the countless top quality releases that would eventually come, my jaw hit the floor on day one and it was tough to pick it back up. These memories of amazement stick with me to this day, no thanks to a plethora of high quality, graphically impressive efforts. And it's efforts like these that are one of the many factors that helped make the Dreamcast such an exciting system to experience both when it was new and now that it's old. On that note, as opposed to crafting a video that rides on my nostalgia, or a video that aims to be a generalized best of, this video is going to be dedicated to what I feel were some of the most graphically impressive games the Sega Dreamcast had to offer. Seeing that it's the Dreamcast's 15th anniversary, I think it's fitting to show off 15 games for this video. Now don't assume this is all the system has to offer when it comes to great visuals. The Dreamcast has many, many great looking games, and so this is by no means a be-all, end-all list. Still. That's even more reason for you to check out what the Dreamcast has to offer in case you haven't experienced the system before. Not to mention, it's also a good reason for me to do a follow-up video down the road. That said, as a celebration of the Dreamcast's 15th anniversary, here are 15 graphically impressive Dreamcast games. This one was probably a given for most of you out there, but I'm kicking off this list with what was my personal, most jaw-dropping Dreamcast moment, the whale chase scene of the first Sonic Adventure. Now don't get me wrong, I think much of this game actually looks kind of bad today, and Sonic Adventure 2 might be a better choice for this list when it comes to visuals. However, few games were able to top the level of detail and the outright craziness of certain parts in the first Sonic Adventure. These scenes lend the game to be, at times, one of the most graphically impressive games on the system and a promising showcase of what there was to come. Focusing further on the Dreamcast's launch, House of the Dead 2 at the time was unanimously seen as the best looking Dreamcast game. Even today, it still holds up well. Now while the game itself can be a little hokey, there's little denying the quality of its graphics. From the smooth character objects, to the high level of shine on the bosses, to the quality of the level background designs, right down to the eerie introduction text, House of the Dead 2 still remains one of the coolest looking Dreamcast games in existence. I'd even go as far to say it's one of the best looking light gun games of all time. Harry and Amy are coming to back us up. Harry, go! Thanks, G. First Shinobi no Michi. Michi wa nunoku. Kibishii mono to shire. The Dreamcast is known for its impressive fighting games, but one that sometimes gets overshadowed by others is Dead or Alive 2. Part of that may be due to the series becoming even more impressive through subsequent sequels on other platforms, but still, what we have here in Dead or Alive 2 on the Dreamcast still looks great today. It features an amazing, fluid frame rate, huge, well animated characters absolutely massive looking stages, and some undeniably wild background effects. Hey! Ah! Hey! 
In 1999, Quake 3 Arena was one of the most impressive looking games in video gaming, period. In 2000, id Software managed an impressive port to the Sega Dreamcast. Some things were chopped out, but others were added in, and the end result is one of the best looking games in the system. A combination of futuristic and hellish environments, a wide amount of texture variety, a smooth frame rate and cool power up and character designs really helps Quake 3 hold up well and still remains as one of the most visually impressive Dreamcast games today. Racing games were and still tend to be benchmark titles for how great a system's visuals can look and the Dreamcast's Ferrari F355 Challenge is no exception. While this racer may not be for everyone, it features some of the most polished and detailed graphics to be found on the Dreamcast. It also never dips below 60 frames per second, which makes this feat all the more impressive. It's games like these that make me wish Sega didn't pull the Dreamcast as quickly as they did, and it would have been amazing to see what else they could have pulled off two or three years after this. Most of the Dreamcast shmups released in the US were based on older, low-resolution, two-dimensional arcade games, but Giga Wing 2 is one we got that bucked the trend. Not only is it a great shooter, but it's one of the best-looking games on the system. The backgrounds feature some excellent detail, the enemies are huge, and the amount of bullets and special pickups on screen never cease to amaze. Giga Wing 2 is easily one of the most impressive games on the Dreamcast. People now might not necessarily think of 2D fighting games when they think of impressive visuals, but back in the Dreamcast days, they did. Marvel vs. Capcom 2 was a showcase title for what 2D fighting games could achieve, and it was one of the earliest 2D fighters to successfully mesh 2D characters with 3D backgrounds. There's so much going on here, the game can still be jaw-dropping even to this day. Power Stone was a launch title and one of the most colorful releases available throughout the Dreamcast's life. There was also a sequel that technically looked superior and offered more on-screen action, but I've always really enjoyed the simplistic style the first Power Stone offers. Everything looks unique, the characters and objects are large, the frame rate is silky smooth, and the trails and special effects provided really look great and help make the experience as fun as it is. Love it or hate it, Shenmue is one of the most visually impressive games the Dreamcast ever had to offer. I personally could never get into the game, but if one thing is for sure, I was absolutely floored by the in-game cutscenes and the general sense of scale the visuals provide. When making this list, I almost completely forgot about Echo the Dolphin. This game sort of flew under the radar for many when the Dreamcast was current, but those that picked it up were in for a graphical treat. From great physics to amazing water effects and details, Echo was a truly amazing piece of graphical work at the time. 
It was so impressive, I wouldn't be surprised if most people spent their first few hours simply walking on water and doing flips in the air. Crazy Taxi is a game some might not immediately think of when it comes to impressive Dreamcast games, but it always struck me as a great looking game. Where it lacks in high polygon counts and detailed textures, it makes up for it with busy scenery, a super sleek look, and an amazing frame rate. It also doesn't hurt that the game is still a blast to play today, and the visuals complement the experience very well. Soul Calibur is often referred to as being one of the most visually impressive games for the Dreamcast, and not without good reason. This launch title featured extremely detailed character movements with some truly satisfying combat special effects. Every stage provided interesting backgrounds and a grand sense of scale, and it really helped solidify the greatness that is Soul Calibur. of the game and wow that was a doozy what a hit they take one right on the chin dan driving them way back that's a play i'll bet they wish they could get back how i didn't want to focus this list too much on sports games but it would be sacrilege if i didn't at least mention one here we have nfl 2k2 but just about any 2k series sports game by sega was impressive for the time these games featured some of the most jaw-dropping visual experiences when the dreamcast was current and while they may not look like much today, they paved the way for what sports fans would eventually become accustomed to in modern times. Smart play from where I'm sitting. It's third and about 17. Wetrix Plus might seem unexpected, but believe it or not, I've always felt it to be a fairly nice looking game for the Dreamcast. It doesn't do anything inherently complicated, but the game is amazingly sharp and has some beautiful water effects. You also have to give credit to the developers for those trippy level change sequences. There's no denying those are really, really cool. One of the great things about the Dreamcast was its huge library of arcade conversions. Many of these were conversions of amazing looking games to boot, and many of these conversions looked identical once they hit home. Arguably, one of the most impressive of such was Virtual On Oratorio Tangram. This mech versus game has a super polished look, and like some of the other games on this list, runs at a slick 60 frames per second. It's one of the fastest, most frenetic experiences on the system, while packing a power punch of excellent visuals at the same time. So there you have it, 15 awesome looking Dreamcast games. I hope this list was able to capture the spirit of one of the many factors that helped make the Dreamcast the excellent system it was, and the excellent system it continues to be. 
It's a shame we were never able to truly see what it was fully capable of from a graphical perspective, no thanks to its short time on the market, but I'd like to note that modern homebrew efforts have been giving us a glimpse into what may have been had the Dreamcast stuck around just a little while longer. Regardless, the Dreamcast still has plenty of great games that even manage to hold up well graphically today. Happy birthday, Dreamcast! Here's to 15 years of quality gaming, and here's to 15 more.